Hi everyone, this is Cliff, and I'm very excited I got the Chaos Destruction system working within Unreal Engine 4. This allows me to achieve cinematic quality levels of destruction in real time. But it's a very complicated process, so I wanted to give you some tips to help you along the way. The first thing we need is a really powerful PC. So I have an HP ZBook with 32 gigs of RAM, and I've updated all of Windows 10 to have the latest version of Windows 10. The next thing I did was get Visual Studio 2017. Now when you go to Microsoft, they're going to usually have Visual Studio 2019, and it's best just to go underneath that and get Visual Studio 2017. In order to get this all working with Unreal Engine and to build Unreal Engine in that with a source build, you're going to need to add some components. There are .NET components you need to add, of certain versions of .NET, and also NuGet. So if you run into any problems, make sure you have all the .NET and all the components in Visual Studio installed. Then you have to go to GitHub and log into GitHub. Once you log into GitHub, you go to Unreal Engine and you log into your Unreal Engine account and then you link your GitHub to your Unreal Engine. That's going to allow you to go to the Unreal Engine GitHub repository. Then once you're there, you go to branches on the left branch release and you're going to want the 4.23 branch. Then you go up to the green button on the upper right and where it says clone or download and you can click download. Once you download that, which is a very large file, it's a source code of Unreal Engine 4.23 then you need to unzip that. I've found that the file is so big that uh, Windows locks up with their unzipping program, so you may want to get the free program WinZip, and then that will let you unzip. It takes a long time to unzip this file. It's a very large file. Now once you've extracted the zip file, you go inside the engine source folder, you open up the UE4 editor.target.cs file in Notepad or Visual Studio and you need to actually uh, add in uh, some code and that's up on the Chaos Destruction Overview. The problem is that they show you the code and then they say the target file should look like this and then they have a comment that says note that the following line is not needed which is the be use chaos equals true. So when I ran all this, it didn't compile correctly in Visual Studio 7, and it takes like an hour to compile this because you're actually doing a whole entire Unreal Engine source code build from Visual Studio 2017. So when you normally run Unreal Engine, you're just running an exe file, and that's opening up Unreal Engine. But what I'm doing is I'm doing a source code build. So what you're doing is in Visual Studio 2017, you're building the entire Unreal Engine so then you can launch it from the source code build. Once you add that code in there, in that targets.cs file, you go to the engine root folder and you run setup.batch file. That just takes a few minutes. And then you run the generate projects files batch file. Now once you do that, then all you have to do is double click on the ue4.sln file. The sln file is a solution file. And so what that does is that actually will open up and load the project into Visual Studio. Now once you've loaded the project into Visual Studio, you set your solution configuration to Development Editor and your solution platform to Win64 then you right click on the UE4 target and select build. Now this takes about an hour, I'm telling you at least an hour. But once you've gone through all that at the total end, it's going to say success. So then you need to run the editor in order to get Unreal Engine started. So in order to do that in Visual Studio 2017, you right click on the UE4 icon on the right on the project and it's going to let you set the project as the startup and then you go to debug and then you go to run instance that's going to launch the unreal engine editor and if that's the first time you're launching unreal engine from the source code build it could take a while so you want to just let that sit 
then finally the editor is going to open. Once the editor opens, you create a new project and then you enable the following plugins from Edit Plugins menu. Chaos Editor, Chaos Solver, Chaos Niagara. There is a Chaos Cloth you can uh, also enable. Planar Cut, Editable Mesh, Geometry, Geometry Cache, and Field System. It's going to then ask you to restart the editor. Once you restart the editor, you will finally have access to Chaos, which will show you up in Modes panel, the Fracture Editor. And then from there, you can create geometry collections. So I hope that helped you. This is a very complicated build. It takes hours to build this, but it's very well worth it. Once you have this built, the last things that I would suggest you do is you go up into your Epic Games Launcher. So you open the Epic Games Launcher and then click on the Learn tab at the top. And then you'll see on the right, it's going to say, you're going to see an engine feature sample called Chaos Destruction Demo. So what you want to do is you want to click on that. Then when you come into the screen, Chaos Destruction Demo, you would click Create Project. Now where you'd want to save this project is in the source code build. So exactly where you saved the source code build. See, I have multiple Unreal Engine builds. I have 423, I have 424, I have 425, but those are just normal builds that just are executables. Then I also have this Chaos Destruction build, which is uh, the engine is 423. You'd save that Chaos Destruction demo in your source build folder, and then that's going to allow you to open that up. But you do have to run a build, so you have to, in order to open the project, you have to build the project first. And then you would open up the Chaos Destruction demo. And that's what I'm showing you here, is the Chaos Destruction demo. Once you open the Chaos Destruction demo, there are numerous maps and basically scenes. So the best scene to go to, the best map, is the second map. So you go to the second map and you double click that. Now this file is so gigantic. That's the only thing about uh, Unreal Engine is that you can open up some of these files and they are just so gigantic that it can take five to 10 minutes even for the project to open. And this second uh, scene, the second map demo is so large that it actually takes a good 10 minutes of just the whole computer being frozen in order for me to run this demo that I'm showing you now. However, if you go into Task Manager, you can see the actual RAM, the RAM that's being allocated for Unreal Engine, and you can see that basically what happens with Unreal is that as it's loading the project and everything's frozen for five or 10 minutes, it's actually launching about 12 gigabytes of RAM that it has to bring into memory. And that's so much RAM that that's why it takes so long that it can take almost 10 minutes for this to, to uh, open up this project. But when you're looking at the task manager, you'll, you'll see that it's processing, it's processing, it's processing, and you'll see it'll say, you know, five gigabytes, seven gigabytes. And when it's got to about 12 gigabytes, Boom, then it all opened up. So this is a very complicated build. You have to have GitHub, you have to download Unreal Engine source code, you have to build the whole Unreal Engine, build it in Visual Studio 2017. And that's at least about an hour long process. And then once you've done that, then Chaos is incorporated in that 423 source code build. As long as you add in those plugins and restart, then you can just do chaos from scratch. But if you want a better foundation, then you would also uh, download the project Chaos Destruction Demo 4.23, and then you can open this up. Feel free to ask me any questions, leave a nice comment, share the video, subscribe, send friends, like the video, and we'll be doing more Unreal Engine Chaos tutorials and cutting-edge innovative Unreal Engine development.
Thanks for watching.